You have to admit, you won't always feel good, feel high, or feel strong that you're good enough to achieve your highest dreams. You won't always do things right, get things perfect, or get good commendations from colleagues at work. In those days and periods when you feel the most insecure, you may be tempted to feel you're not good enough, owing to what you've done or what is going on around you. But the truth is, if we were all good enough, we would all not need to keep growing, right? A teeny tiny happening or comment from someone might make us feel we aren't pretty enough, smart enough, or just hardworking enough. But we cannot control what others will say or think. We can only decide how we want to react and respond to it. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 21 things to remember when you think you're not good enough. 1. Look back. We are often inclined to focus on the future. We concentrate so much on the goals we have set for ourselves that we tend to feel pressured when we realize how far we are from our goal. Usually, we ignore the path that led us to where we are right now, the hurdles we faced, and the kind of success we now enjoy as a result of taking that path. It's okay to look back and appreciate the journey we took through that path, right before that journey. You were scared you would not make it through, but you did make it through just fine. Appreciate your past, enjoy your present, and look to your future with confidence. 2. Focus on progress and excellence, not perfection. Utopia is an unlikely dream. When we work so hard to achieve perfection and success and we don't meet them, we tend to feel we are worthless and that we aren't going to achieve anything worthwhile. That's often not true. How many times have you achieved things in your life you never thought you could achieve? It's easy to lose faith in yourself because you aren't as perfect as you would expect yourself to be. If you were perfect, you wouldn't need to be human. Instead, appreciate the fact that you're making progress. We're all works in progress, so be much more concerned about making excellent progress rather than focusing on being perfect. 3. Do not compare your journey with that of another. We all have different journeys in life. We aren't all going the same way and certainly, we aren't going to our destination at the same time. Be content to know that you have a journey that is unique to you, which no one else can navigate but you. Some people you admire may be ahead of you. It doesn't mean they are better than you. Neither does it mean you're better than them. Don't let it discourage you that others are getting ahead right now. If you will just focus on doing the right things, making the right decisions and pushing towards your goal, your own time will come. 4. Do not get worried in advance. If worrying achieves nothing, then it is needless to worry. It is useless to attempt to deal with issues in your mind when you aren't sure they would ever happen. Will you make it into the new year? Will you have all the money you need to live the kind of life you want? All of this will only increase your anxiety and agitation. Most of the time, things unfold themselves without too much struggle. Once you've done all that was in your power to do, let things happen. 5. Choose to be happy. Happiness is a choice we all have to make. Things will happen. Circumstances are inevitable. Plans fail. Good decisions do not always result in positive ending or results. Life is too short and it can leave us anytime. So, choose to be happy. You have to ask yourself if you want this incident to ruin your life or build it. Will you rather be happy or will you let this drag you down for no reason? 6. You aren't what you do. You are not your mistake. Your mistake does not define you. You can misbehave sometimes. It doesn't make you a bad person, especially when you're willing and working to make things right. Be always mindful to differentiate between your actions and who you are. People may give negative criticisms about what you did. They're criticizing your actions and not your person. Learn to differentiate that. 7. Pay attention to your inner dialogue. You can be too kind to other people and be too hard on yourself. You could have done something wrong, but you keep punishing yourself with a tough inner dialogue. No one likes to make meaningless mistakes. However, you don't have to make things worse by berating yourself. While you must assess that you have done wrong, be gentle with yourself and feel empathy and appreciation for what you do and for who you are. Show love to yourself, even when you think you do not deserve it after all that has happened. 8. Nobody is doing better than you because nobody can do better than you. We all have our own path. You are traveling through your path, and I am traveling through mine. Just because someone is shining now does not mean your path is worse while theirs is better. We feel insecure sometimes because of this wrong comparison. Look away from what everyone is achieving and focus on your own journey. 9. Where you are right now is a necessary step. You can resent where you are right now because you feel you shouldn't be there. But you need the experiences you are facing now for the next level in your life. Admit that and gobble up your fear and pride. You are where you need to be right now so you can be prepared for a better place tomorrow. 10. Everything is coming together. Maybe not immediately, but gradually. 
Things will get tough sometimes. At this point, always remind yourself the pain is never purposeless. Learn from that pain and move on. That is part of your growth process. Pain can hurt you and change you when you're not so hard on yourself, but you choose to go with the flow. This kind of pain will help you grow. 11. It is your resistance to what is that causes your suffering. You will be happy when you are comfortable with what is instead of wishing for what could have been. What will happen will happen. And there are just certain things you can influence. You cannot control everything that happens to you. You can only control the way you respond to what happens. 12. You have a choice daily. Every day brings a choice. You can either choose to practice stress or choose to practice peace. If you choose to be unhappy, you will find a lot of reasons to be unhappy. If you choose to be happy and peaceful, there will be a lot of reasons to be. You can either be skilled at making yourself happy or making yourself sad. Build yourself by making yourself happy. 13. You are always good enough to try, and that's what's important in the end. All achievements come from trying, so if you don't try, you never know what you are capable of doing. Try. Attempt to do something you know you have to do or can do. Give yourself a chance to fail, but also know that you can succeed. 14. There is always something small you can do. No matter where you find yourself, there is always something you can do to move forward. It may not be a big step, just a small baby step in the right direction will be enough. Take one step at a time. If all you have is a vision without action, you're just daydreaming. Sometimes, the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. 15. Failures are just lessons that need to be learned. Leave each day with purpose and presence. Enjoy the process you're in right now. You will never waste a day when you live it with purpose. 16. Yesterday's impossibilities may be possible today. You failed yesterday. That's an experience you can leverage to pass today. What you failed at yesterday is a lesson on how you can handle what's coming. So, don't give up. 17. What might happen can only stop you if you let it. Instead of being anxious about what will happen, take steps forward, move in the right direction, use your energy and intelligence to deal with what does actually happen. 18. The quality of your vision drives the quality of your life. Look away from the things you don't like, focus on the things you like, explore the options before you, leave your dream. If you are passionate and excited about what you are doing, you have an advantage that is nearly impossible to conquer. 19. You don't need to get everyone's approval first. You don't need the world to approve of your idea, especially if it's right. Not everyone will approve of you or your idea. Be comfortable to go with it. 20. What you're capable of achieving is greatly based on how much you want it. When it matters to you, you will do it. When you're determined to get there, you will get there. You won't achieve success suddenly. Also, don't expect to become all you hope to be by just wishing. Success is the natural outcome of consistently applying your focused effort to what you want. The fatigue might be there sometimes, but you must understand that putting it aside is the single most crucial factor in succeeding. 21. Your best choice is to give yourself no other choice. You can't imagine what you can do when you give yourself no other choice than to pursue what you have to. To achieve anything worthwhile, you must give yourself no other choice. You are just good enough. You have all it takes to achieve what you want to achieve. If you believe your troubles are too much, then you'll never allow yourself to rise above them. Stop fretting. Quit worrying. Don't complain. You know what you must do. So, do it. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.